So let's have a look at creating migrations. To create migrations, you'll need a Django project. Let's create one now. I've made a new directory and I'm installing Django into a new virtual environment. Now the virtual environment will be activated. And then I'm going to clear the screen, make it a little easier to see what's going on. So next up, creating a new project in Django Admin. So you can see the contents of the directory there. And you can see manage.py, which we'll be making a lot of use of throughout this tutorial. And there, using the tree command, you can see the structure of the files and directories that we have so far. You can notice that at the moment, our migrations folder inside historical data is empty. So next up, it'll be time to create the model that we'll be working with and install the historical data app into Django. First up, adding historical data to the installed apps in Django's settings.py file. Now, one thing I've got in the habit of doing is putting a comment to separate out third party apps and local ones that I've been working on. Because later on, when things get a little more complicated, it can make it clear to see what's happening. It's good practice to put a comma after the last item on any list that you make, as then if you do extend it in the future, you won't generate any errors. Next, creation of the model in the historical data models.py file. So there you can see the basic model to keep track of Bitcoin prices with three fields in there. We have date, as a date time field. We have price, as a decimal field. We have volume, as an integer field. Now that the model has been created, the next thing you need to do is to make a migration for it. And that can be done using manage.py and make migrations. You can optionally add the name of the app this will make migration solely for the app in question and can simplify debugging later on. Now the migration has been done. And if we look again at the structure of our files and directories, we can see that our migrations folder contains the migration. The eagle eyed amongst you may also have noticed that a database file has been created. Let's take a look at that now using manage.py and DB shell. The SQLite instruction to look at the tables is simply dot tables. And we can see at the moment there are no tables. Dot quit puts us back at the prompt.